Introduction of Tang Weijin, Chairman of the Global Community of Shared Future Foundation, Tang Weijin. Born in 1958 in Qidong County, Hengyang City, Hunan Province, graduated from Central South University of Forestry and Technology, and worked as a teacher there for eight years. In 1990, he immigrated to Ontario, Canada, and pursued graduate studies in the Department of Biology at the University of Waterloo. After completing his graduate studies, Tang Weijin engaged in medical scientific research at Toronto General Hospital and the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. In 1996, he left the hospital to start his own venture, managing a mutual fund for a bank with friends and embarking on short-term trading. In 1997, he registered and founded Tang Weijin Investment and Information Consulting Company, making profits of over a million. However, due to non-compliance with banking practices, he was forced to terminate his business and sought new opportunities, exploring foreign exchange, U.S. stock indices, options, and futures, trading over nearly a decade. In 2001, he co-founded the Canadian Hunan Association with fellow alumni from his university. In 2002, he initiated the Canada-China Biotechnology and Pharmaceutical Development Association with colleagues and acquired the position of chairman and CEO of an internet company. In 2004, upon invitation from the Asia-Pacific President Association in mainland China, he participated in the Wealth Summit on the theories and practices of the greatest investor, Warren Buffett, which drew significant media attention. In 2005, he was interviewed by multiple domestic media outlets, including Investment Strategy Magazine, Securities Daily, Chinese World, and Shanghai Oriental TV, and was featured as the cover story of China Trade Magazine. In 2006, he published his monograph, the Chinese Warren Buffett, through the Economic Daily Press, which received widespread attention and positive reviews. On February 18, 2006, he successfully held the North American Chinese Wealth Summit, marking the rise of his career. In 2007, known as the Chinese Warren Buffett, Tang Weijun was invited by the United Front Work Department to return to China for training as a key overseas figure and delivered speeches at renowned universities across the country, including the Shanghai Jiao Tong University School of Management, Zhejiang University School of Finance, Central South University of Science and Technology School of Management, Hunan Normal University School of Economics and Management, Central South University of Forestry and Technology, Beijing University of Media, and Jinan University in Guangzhou. He also spoke at a financial summit hosted by the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, creating a stir in the financial community and receiving interviews from Oriental Satellite TV and Guangdong Satellite TV. In 2008, Tang Weijin's career thrived as he participated in various charitable activities including a donation of 100,000 yuan to help with the rare snow disaster in Hunan and a rally in Ottawa with nearly 10,000 participants opposing Western media's distorted reports and Tibetan independence while supporting the Beijing Olympics, which prompted visits from Canadian security and intelligence agencies. He also raised hundreds of thousands of Canadian dollars for disaster relief following the Wenchuan earthquake. He received interview from Phoenix New Media Limited. Owing to his strong activity capabilities, significant influence, and notable achievements, Tang Weijin was appointed by the United Front Work Department as a director of the Third Council of the Chinese Overseas Friendship Association, receiving an appointment letter from Du Qinglin, the minister of the United Front Work Department, and was warmly received by Jia Qinglin the chairman of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. To this day, Tang Weijin is recognized on the websites of the United Front Work Department and the Foreign Ministry. In 2009, Tang Weijin organized the North American Chinese Wealth Summit and the Canadian Chinese Spring Festival Gala 
at the Toronto Conference Centre, investing 500 Canadian dollars per person while achieving great success, which generated significant media attention and subsequently estimated financing of over $30 million within a month. Even more eye-catching was Tang's live demonstration of his trading abilities and skills for investors and the media, which sent ripples through Wall Street and attracted the interest and favor of the Chinese National Sovereign Fund, also leading to close scrutiny from the Ontario Securities Commission. The Ontario Securities Commission began investigating him under unfounded charges and brazenly employed force, police and prison, to slander and entrap the unarmed Chinese financial entrepreneur.